Hi guys, so I'm just about to run out the door and pick up Nicholas from school and I wanted to take you through my 10 minute beauty regime. Um, so basically I had a shower this morning and allowed my hair to naturally air dry. I love doing that on the rare occasion and just giving it a break from all the, the styling tools. I've popped in the angel potion. Um, that just allows me to, to detangle because as you can see, it's quite texturized naturally and uh, curly wavy. Um, so a couple of pumps of the angel potion and then followed by my usual, the restructuring fluid potion. So that's an oil that I just pop in also while it's damp to um, just to give it that sheen and it helps protect it from split ends and nourishes. So that's that. Um, so all I have on my skin right now is moisturizer and I cleanse with um, Divine Woman. It's a beautiful hydrating cream cleanser um, made from 100% certified natural um, and organic ingredients. Um, they are plant derived and it's a, just a beautiful, very gentle, um, hydrating cleanser. One of my personal faves. And then I follow that with my uh, The Divine Woman um, Illuminating Day Cream. And as you know, I've already popped on my day cream, but I'll pop on a little more because my skin is naturally dry. Follow that through with um, one of my personal favorites. I um, first discovered this little eye cream. It's by Clinique in one of the gift bags during Fashion Week one year. Um, and I think it might have been 10 years ago and I haven't looked back. I, it's one of my um, favorites. So I'll pop that on. Gently around the eye area. I like to use my fingers to apply creams and makeup and sometimes I if I have any extra I just go around between the brows and pop on some on my lips too Oops. <laughs> okay so my foundation I have been using MAC face and body for quite some time now um, it's a beautiful lightweight foundation and uh, it's basically like the tinted moisturizer. <laughs> Me and my moisturizers, right? Um, but when my skin's really, I mean, when I don't have any breakouts or when it doesn't really need much, I like using it because it just adds a little bit of color but and coverage, but not too much. Um, my go-to color is C5. Um, so I'll just pop that on back of my hand and I just rub it warm it up in between my fingers next up what's next what's next okay so I also use um, the concealer from MAC and that's also in oh actually no that is NW25 it's the Studio Finish Concealer. And I just like to pop that in under the eye area, a little on top of the lid. Quick, quick, quick. In between the eyebrows. Sometimes I get a little red. Definitely around the nose area. <laughs> yeah, definitely am right. <laughs> um, and like I said, I've broken out, my chin has broken out into a couple little spots, so I'll cover those. How funny the faces you pull when you're popping on your makeup. So, quickly, quickly, what's next? Um, I'm not a big fan of um, powdering, powders um, during the day, but since I think I've overdone it maybe with the moisturizer, I might go ahead and add a little bit of powder. I love um, the Prep, Prep and Prime by MAC. It's a white, um, loose, well, transparent finishing powder. And um, 
I've also been using this. It's quite fine, so it doesn't look like you're too caked up. And I'll just pop it on my eyelids, in between my eyes there, around my nose. Oh, not like that. Definitely not like that. <laughs> so let's brush that away. Around my smile lines and chin. Okay, and that's that. This kind of does the trick for me. I'm all about keeping it fresh and natural. And um, I'll, this is this one, this little guy is by Sephora and it's a colorful cheek ink gel. And what color is it? Dahlia, number six. Um, so I just pop it on the balls of my cheeks and work it in yet again with my fingers. Love using this pigment by MAC. What color is this? This is in Melon and um, it's really quite beautiful. I just pop a little bit. I rub a little bit on the back of my hand here just so I can control the amount I, I get and I pop on my skin. And then I just pop a little bit on the inside of my eyes. And it really just, let me see, can you see that? Really just livens. Gives me a little extra life. <laughs> And then on the top of my cheekbones too. There and there. And that is it. I also like to follow with a little bit of um, eyeliner. Just pop a, a gentle, very fine line on the top of my eyelashes. Um, my next go-to little guy is um, mascara and this one I have I also love and I've been using it for many many years it's by Max Factor and it's called the false lash effect in black at a time gotta go what else what else what else lips right okay so I love using right now I just discovered this beautiful color it's by NYX lingerie and uh, NYX NYX and what color is this beauty hmm let me see let me see what can can I find it for you guys it is in ruffled trim. There you go. And it's super cheap. <laughs> Nothing too fancy, but um, the color's quite natural. And I'll just dab it onto my lips and then work it in with my finger. I like to have, keep all the edges nice and soft. And any excess, so I'll just grab a little more any excess um, product, I just kind of dab onto the cheeks of my, the apples of my cheeks. I never forget about my eyebrows. Um, I personally like to brush them up. Um, I use, what do I use, what do I use? Hello. <laughs> I use, I love to use a little bit of hairspray. Um, on the end of my brow brush and that makes and that way I make sure they do not move all day and there we have it I am ready to roll ready for school pickups um, and last but not least actually the organic hydrating hair perfume just to give me that finishing touch this smells divine. It also adds sheen to your hair. Um, yeah, this one I keep in my handbag at all times. My 10 minute beauty regime, beautiful dewy skin. I'm ready to go out the door and pick up Nicholas. Um, so thanks for watching and catch you later.